Hi, and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're asking the question, will I see them again? So this may be, will I bump into them? Will I see them from a distance? Will I actually ever see them again? And um, this video has been requested, although I feel like I've done this video already, but it's been requested a few times. And um, I posted a video uh, the other day that was a yes or no uh, video where one could just go about and ask, well, yes, I will meet them or no, I will not meet them again. Um, but this one uh, kind of goes into it a little bit and looks at the scenario and looks at the possibilities. And I've chosen three Kipper decks here to work with because they are, you know, they are, I think the potential answers could just be like yes, no, or maybe, right? So I'm just going with three decks. And um, if I feel in the future that this requires more options or it requires more and a more in-depth kind of uh, uh, look, then I will go with, uh, I'll do another reading and, and use five options. And in the meantime, I've got three Kipper decks, as I've mentioned, and it's deck one two and three please make your choice and the timestamps are in the description box below i'm going to go ahead and begin so here we are and we're asking will i ever see them again this could apply to uh family a strange family a strange friends old work associates or somebody just somebody from your childhood Somebody that you just haven't seen in a long time, we're just not in touch with, and you're not sure if you'll be in touch with them. It could be an estranged lover. It could be some, a crush that you have. Will you ever see them? Will you ever meet them or bump into them? Okay, so I am very inclined to say that this is a yes answer here. And once again, if you want to go ahead and use the other reading to find out if it's a yes or no, and then come back here just to get an explanation, that's also good and fine. So I'm feeling this is very much a yes answer because here you see this love between two people, and then you see that they come together, and there's a togetherness here, and they and there's a house. So there's a togetherness and a a love and um, and they meet in this house. So if this is with regard to a family member, I feel that you will bump into them at a at a. Uh, the, it could be that you bump into them at a, a family wedding or where where some other people are coming together. Okay, it could be that you you simply bump into them at, at like a Thanksgiving or like a party at at home. Um, if it's somebody that you um, haven't met in a long long time, you may bump into them. Um, at where there's other people getting together. If this is the love relationship, well, I feel that this is a love that can be revived and there's a chance that you could be together and uh, that, you know, this would be a comfortable togetherness that you will have, that there will be a sense that you would be meeting perhaps indoors or in a, in a, in a large house or at an event, perhaps at an exhibition or perhaps at a at a, a poetry reading, I don't know what that, why that's come to mind, or at um, an, a small kind of um, concert uh, where there's just an intimate environment, an intimate uh, situation. So I feel that this is a yes answer and that you're most likely to meet indoors and you're most likely to meet um, either where other people are coming together or you are coming together and where, uh, where there's something... Um, it's in a more intimate space here yeah? where uh, where there may be a wedding that's taking place indoors or they, it could be an art exhibition or it could be um, some kind of uh, something that's happening indoors where there may be more than one person uh, there. And um, yeah, so that's a yes answer. You will see them again. OK, I'm, I'm not going to give you a time frames here because I feel that time frames are really uh, on in various extremes and um if you want to get, have times uh, if you want to have a time um kind of period then i think maybe just consult a, a reader who can uh, give you that uh, you could consult me or you could consult anyone else and maybe then you would get a, a very specific um uh time period that you can look towards but because yeah i feel that there's some people who 
meet this person within the next few weeks and there's others who won't meet them for years on end and uh, yeah it will be like for some of these people you'll only meet them once your children are getting married okay so th this is the how off it is it's like a few weeks to a few, like decades and um so yeah so that is it for you who've chosen uh this first deck here and we're moving on to this one here and for those of you who've chosen uh the second deck here the question we're asking is will we actually meet them again will we ever see them again will we bump into them will we see them from a distance will we in fact meet them again will we cross paths again Okay, so this is a situation where I would say the answer is no. Okay, what we have here is somebody, a man who um, is, and a woman who is receiving a, a sad message, and then there's a change, a move. Okay, so in this scenario, it might be that this man, I feel that the initial, the initial feeling I had here was this man's going to tell this woman that he doesn't want to see her anymore, and um, and he doesn't want to speak to her anymore. And that this per this woman is going to actually be, um, she's going to be very sad about that. She's been hoping and waiting for this man. And he's quite blunt and aggressive and uh, quite uh, insensitive in the way in which she tells her, gives her this message. The other, and, and then she moves, she leaves. Oh, it could be that he's leaving and she's sad about that. That's also an option. But I feel that uh, the answer here is no. Uh, even though we have a man and a woman right here, they are not um, looking at each other. And um, they just, yeah, they're not, there's a sad message here. And so um, it's like this man is very relevant and very much aware of this person, uh, of, of this woman. And she is of him as well. So I feel in many cases, this is a love situation. Yeah. In some of these cases, this could be like the brother of uh, uh, of somebody, uh, or um, or the sister of somebody, and um, you're going to hear that they've moved, and that the option of them of you seeing them again is not really there, uh, or it's not so easy, and it will take a great deal of effort to see them. Uh, for somebody else, it might just be that uh, they've moved to another country or another place, which is uh, not a place that you would necessarily go to visit and that there, it's unlikely that you will see each other again. So the answer here is um, a no. All right. Um, a change would actually assist here. A change would help getting over the sadness of this. So if you were to decide, um, if you were living in a place and hoping that you could come together with this person or you move there to be with this person, and uh, you're wondering and you've broken off and you've become estranged and you're wondering whether you will meet each other again. The answer is no and that you should actually move on from there and change your environment, change your, your life because this is not going to yield a positive outcome as long as you stay there. You will be sad. You will be fo focused on this person and the, the fact and the rejection that you experience as a result of this person. All right. And once again, you know, this could apply to both men and women. So just um, if I've used the gender in a way that is uh, contrary to the uh, your situation, then just, um, you know, a he it could be he or she in both scenarios is what I'm trying to say. So just uh, adapt it to your situation. All right. So uh, that's it for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck here. And um, yeah, sorry about that message. I'm sure it's not so easy to hear that. And for this is the last one here. And uh, the question we're asking again is, will we meet this person again? Will I actually see this person again? Will I bump into this person again? Will I actually see this person again? And this could be a family member. It could be an old school friend. It could be anyone at all. It's not just love here that we're talking about. This is every given scenario. And there's the first card that has to come forth.
Okay, so here, this is very much, you know, at the beginning of the reading, I said that, you know, it could be, what could it be? It could be a yes, no, or a maybe. And so here I want to say this is a maybe, okay, uh, because uh, what what's actually happened here is that uh, there's a waiting, there's an expectation, yeah, there's an expectation um, of a potential playful encounter um, that you could actually meet this person. I feel that in this scenario, you'd meet this person within a work scenario. Sorry, I just realized I was off camera again. Um, so I was saying that in this scenario, you could, you would um, potentially meet this person in a work scenario, or you'd meet this person in a, so I feel like in some scenarios, you work with each other, and you waiting for that year end event, where you could come together and everyone comes together and there's a party or there's a, that you go away and do some workshops or you go to, uh, away to do some team building exercise or it's not a year, uh, year, year end event but you know the, the, the company goes away uh, or people within the company goes away and does this, um, this um, team building exercise and this is where you're hoping that you would meet this person. This is expectation that you have. I feel that here it's not like it's like there are opportunities for you to meet this person. Because this person is within your um, look, they, they they're around where you are. They in your location. You could easily bump into them, and so there's a maybe. There's a maybe that this would actually happen. And I feel that if it does happen, it would happen um, in something like a team building exercise. It would happen somewhere where people are meeting together to uh, celebrate something. It would happen. Perhaps it could happen in a kindergarten. It could happen in a school. It could happen in outside of a school where you go off to drop your kids or you go to pick up somebody else's kids, um, you know, your friend's kids or something, or you're just passing by and you see them and you bump into them in this scenario. Uh, it could be that you've been waiting for this for a long, long time. I feel that here you, you really invested in seeing this person again and it's something that you've resigned yourself it's like you have this hope here of being able to meet this person and you are not willing to actually give up on this hope. And this is something that you are open to. You're open to meeting this person again. You're opening to a light encounter with them. You're open to having fun with them. You're open to having um, perhaps a, an intimate conversation with them where you are, you know, in a place which is protected and held and where you can meet with each other, not just in the street, um, passing by each other, but in a space where you can actually have a few minutes to exchange a few more words with each other. And this is the hope that you have and that it will be light. And I feel that this is a, a possibility here. And I'm saying that just from um, my uh, intuition. So um, I feel that, you know, there is a chance also that th this is very much dependent on fate, you know. And so there is a chance that this doesn't happen, but it passes you by so that you arrive, you know, five minutes later than when they were there or it, they arrive, um, you know, it, it just kind of slips you by. It's like you're passing each other. It's like you are uh, that you can actually see each other, even if you live in different countries. It's almost as if this person could come to an airport where you're at and you could be in the same scenario, but you just don't uh, meet each other. And that is actually a very um, uh, possible scenario here and I feel in order for you to actually uh, meet this person you need to uh, simply let go of this forget them and you'll and you'll and you'll bump into them don't wait for them don't wait for this to happen because if you do you're creating this um, yeah this, you're creating this buzz around them that kind of almost it's like a magnetic field that keeps them away from you as opposed to uh, draws them into you and so if you just kind of let down that magnetic field if you let go of that um, that that desire that you have uh, and just concentrate on other things or just forget about it for a while that they're more likely to bump into you because yeah I feel that the universe wants to bring you together not to be with each other forever or something like this necessarily but there is an encounter that the universe is trying to bring about you and I feel that the expectation is standing in the way of it so I hope that's been helpful for you and I hope that um, you do actually get to meet each other and I'm um, sorry for those of you who received the message that you won't be meeting and so um, in the other in the other reading that is and I thank you very much um, for passing by I love doing these short quick um, Kipper deck readings because I love these cards and um, yeah I, I could go into them with a little bit more detail the next time 
and use more cards but just let me know and if you have any suggestions for readings uh do post them in the community uh, uh, posts. Uh, yeah, just you could write to me there and tell me what it is that you like. Uh, if you make a suggestion in the comment section, I, I may not remember it. I may glance uh, through it when I'm busy with something else. And I, I might not just get get around to, to doing it. And I, I would uh, be happy to uh, oblige you with uh, some of the options that you have or some of the questions that you have. So do go ahead and post your requests in the community um a section of the YouTube channel. So uh, thank you very much once again. And uh, yeah, um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.